I welcome everyone. Thanks for coming. And um, hand it over to Ruth Hesse, who is the uh, she's an arts writer, was the editor, the arts editor for was it Art in Australia? Australian Art Review. The list goes on and on, but she's going to be our um, moderator. moderator. <laughs> so she'll uh, introduce everyone. She's not moderator. I think she's creating some ructions underneath the conversation so that we um, leap off the page. But is anybody very thirsty? Because I do have some water here. Okay. No? No? No, okay. Not yet. Not the last place. So this really interesting exhibition, which um, challenges you every time you walk into a different space. Um, first of all, uh, Adrian is known to all of you, of course, he's the gallery director, and he's been um, working in the art world for 40 years. Is that cruel to mention? Um, on my left, Colin Rhodes, who is really good at talking about other people, apparently, but not himself. He um, is the dean of the Sydney College of Arts and a specialist in something called outsider art, which we'll be talking about very soon, um, exactly what that term means and how it fits in to the Western tradition of art, but also um, all the other influences that have come into that over the years. Uh, he has written two books, which include the influential outsider art, Spontaneous Alternatives in 2000,
Well, I just want to say that it strikes me as, uh, you know, like um, you said that we, we as Westerners view everything through the frame, that, that the art market itself is a, a frame, um, and that, um, you know, every art, every art world is an elitist construct, and um, that, um, you know, if you can't put a value on something, or if something's produced like I remember, um, uh, uh, for instance, uh, there was a program made some time ago called Art from the Heart, in which they went around, <coughs> these producers went around to all these different oh, communities. <laughs> and the question, the question asked all the time was, do you pay for the love or do you pay for the money? Yeah. You know, as if uh, paying for the money made you, you know, part, you know, you were, you were part of the market. But if you didn't pay for the money, then Colin, are you? Uh, is that one descriptor of an outsider? No, I don't think so. Actually, um, I mean, one of the, the <coughs> reactions I always get to that that kind of um, that that proposition is anybody, whether whether they they into making art or driven to make art or whatever, anybody who really wants to make money. Being an artist is probably the darkest thing. Go work in all these stacking shelves and then you get out and you get hung. You know, and you definitely make money. You still make art. It's the same with buying art. Do not buy art to speculate. You know, buy art because you love it. Because if you're speculating, you put money on the horses. It's a short end. Then buy art. That kind of sense. <laughs> I'm assuming everyone here, if they buy art, they buy art because they love it. If it happens to increase in value, well, that's fantastic. But if what you want to do is make money, art is not the game for immediately.